Happy 10 days till Christmas. We are on day 15 of the advent calendar. And just to start off, we're going to say F you Aldi. We're not doing the seltzers anymore. But today we have the uh, Duranky. Durank? Durank. Goldenberg. Goldenberg, 8%. Yeah. Um, we don't know much else about this beer check out the can bottle oh. art though everybody super creative just kidding it was poured at the barrel house in ohio so they didn't have the original label it's okay though we will we could look it up and review it but that's not what we do nope. we'll leave that to mikey and matt okay and jt so why don't you go ahead uh, and try to open we're it. going for the crack <clears throat> are this one over <laughs> Do you need a bottle? Oh, need yeah, bottle. we need a bottle opener. That's a real deal. Oh, you're unprepared. Here you go. Viva Las Vegas. Nailed it. Who needs that? Want to go for the pour for us, I'll dude? go for the pour. Michelle's rocking her slaying it shirt, and I got my Montgomery Deer Camp shirt on. Got to rep our crew up there at Deer Camp. If you ever get real far north of eight and you come up to danbury wisconsin you can join us we have a lot of fun hmm. Ooh. so i believe this is a belgium triple which if i'm correct they're usually strong um it was eight usually they're, i think it was eight percent usually yeah. they're pretty good though okay this to me smells Cheers. like hold on it smells like amber bach oh well that's good news for you I can't judge it on the first taste ever because the second and third always taste different. It's got a little sweet, little, mm -hmm. little yeah, some sweet flavors. I don't know if I say caramel, caramely. A little bit. Malty. I don't know. I'm just throwing <laughs> words out there. I think all those, I, yeah, I don't know. I think all those explain. It has a little bit of an aftertaste. I'm not sure exactly what I would call it. It's not a bad aftertaste, but just kind of lingers. If you take another sip of the beer, it kind of goes away. It's it's a good beer. Yeah, it's not bad. I mean, I would not sit and drink five of these. I don't know if I would reorder it. If we're at a brewery and I got a... Right, like I'm happy I tasted it. Pour. Right, happy I tasted it. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I mean, it, it's an enjoyable beer. Certainly would not say it's a bad beer. I would, um, what brewery? Is, I, we would love to know what brewery this is from. Is it the Durank Brewery? That's or my guess. Okay. Yeah. It's the Guldenberg. We're thinking it's maybe from afar, maybe across the ocean, maybe from Belgium. No one will ever know unless they look it up on the internet, which they could do. But us. Everything on the internet know. is uh, true, so. I don't know, what would you rank this? Let's go. I'm going to say 3.5. Oh, 3.5. Hey, there's our cat. He's back. Um, 3.5. It's a good beer. It's a very drinkable beer. The little bit of uh, aftertaste is kind of lingering with me. Don't love that. But it's smooth. Doesn't have a lot of bite. It's good. for. Uh, I like the Belgium triples usually. I don't know if I've ever had a Belgium single, but, you know. Um, I am going to go with a 375. Mm -hmm. Just very drinkable, like you said. I like the taste. Um, nothing drastic. It's just, yeah. it's just a good beer. Good beer. Yeah. Okay. Like, you know that I did not purchase this lovely headgear today. That was my wife. So when you think of the usual who buys random things in this house, it's usually me. Let me let me tell you the story behind it. Next week is dress up week for the holidays at school. So um, one of the days is dress like a Christmas tree, red and white day, uh, or red and green, sorry. And uh, this is gonna be our topper of our Christmas trees for our, our teachers, so. Oh, I actually really love it that way. 
I feel like I'm I'm either like a, a hippie or maybe I'm in like an intergalactic Ooh. battle. I feel like we're at Disney <laughs> Disney World <laughs> land. Which one do we go to? World or land? Whatever one's in California. California. Sure. But remember the last ride we went on? We were shooting everything. Space Mountain? Sp oh, no, no, that was no, the, no, 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 no. Uh, it was the Toy Story one. The Toy yeah, Story one. Yeah, that one was like, cool. <laughs> Flipping around. Yeah, that was a good one. And now for day four. Four of our brewing project, the uh, brown bagged. Do you want to open it your can way? Can I open this one? You can open this one. We'll do it my way. Shred it. Oh, brown paper bag. This here we have the Synergy Ooh. from the brewing project. In case any of y'all peoples of the interwebs have had that. It's a hazy. This is a hazy India Pale Ale with. Idaho 7, Sycamo, Sick, Simco, Sima, Sima, Sorry, I'm back, people. <laughs> Simco and Sabro. Like, you think it's like Sabaro pizza or different? You think they have Sabaro pizza in, in Ohio? Because if they don't, that's another reason why it's a terrible state. I don't even know if they have it in Eau Claire anymore. Sabaro pizza is gone? It's gone, and I don't think oh. it's in the mall anymore. It's a sad day. The so mall is kind of... Get that, you got to get that big slice of pizza. Sabaro was where it was at. The mall is um, kind of pathetic. Michelle, show them the can art. This is pretty sweet. 7.3. Oh, geez. So pretty heavy. What if can I do a lighted beard? Ooh, I like it. Yeah, I like that. Yeah. So am I pouring? Oh, do I need yeah, to? Well, I don't know if you got to shake the IPA. Roll it, shake it. What do we got to do? Okay. This, again, brought to you by Chad and Jody. Great friends from up north here with us. Treating us to this some Room the, Project uh, Advent Calendar. Some of the first people we met in, in Spooner. Questionable pour. I'm not going to judge you, though, Michelle. You know, it's, Mine's better. That's okay. Remember, okay. get the nose grease. That's how you get rid of the foam. In case you guys think we're in college. I don't think that really works. Uh, I mean, that foam's going down here. Oh, yeah. I'll try it. Um, so, to the beer. Should we? Ooh, it, the aromas. Good. Yes. Yeah, it's well, Michelle is... Thinking about the beer, we were watching Elf tonight, which uh, I will say is top three Christmas movies of all time. If you want to fight me over it, I mean, I'm not, I'm not really a fighter, but I'll say it's the truth. Top three Christmas movies, Elf. We have a visitor. Right this is Leo. The guy that eats the window clings. He was eating the window clings last night. Um... He's a good kitty, but he eats anything in this house that he can because he thinks he's a starving kitty. Yeah. I'm not sure. I think this is a nice beer. I agree. It's got a little more, uh, a little more hop, a little more bite than the yeah. first brewing project, the Dare Mighty Things. Uh, but it's a nice beer. I, it's not bad. I look at. I mean, it's definitely hazy. It mm -hmm. has that hazy taste to it. Yeah. I just keep pouring, keep pouring. Um, it really, I think it definitely tastes a little stronger. I wouldn't say it's as far as tasting boozy, but it definitely more, packs yeah. a little more punch. Yep, more boozy than the other ones. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I agree with that. Well, you're ready to... Give it a score? Um, yeah. On a scale of green, blue, yellow, red... This isn't oh, yours the, is backwards. This isn't the whole color wheel, but it's close. A little more primary. Primary. Pertinere, they say. Um, I give this 3.5. 3.50. Um, it's good beer. Drinkable beer. Not pontoon crushable, mm -hmm. uh, but enjoyable. If you gave me one of these, I'd, I'd drink it. Wouldn't think anything of it. Um, but I think like Matt... Matt and JT were talking the other day about like memorable beers, and I don't think this would be a beer that I no. would remember. No. Um, 
Yeah, so it's, it's a good beer. Nothing wrong with it. Well done, Brewing Project. Matt, um, I'm going to just come clean. It's hard for me to rate beers because all beers are for me. So I don't, there's not a beer that I don't like, truthfully. There's um, got to be a couple you don't like. Maybe. Wild Ohio. You never had it, but it's bad. You don't want that one. It's an outside story. Okay. You know. Chuggalos would know. Okay. Um, again, I would not crush this on the pontoon. Well, you wouldn't put it past me, but um, would you go 350? Yeah, I went 350. I'd go 350 too. It's good beer. It's drinkable, but not my favorite. Yeah. I think it's good. Real good beer. Uh, we've truly enjoyed doing the advent calendar this year, so thanks Matt, JT, and all the Chuggalos for bringing us into the fold. It's been enjoyable. Um, and hopefully we'll do it again next year with you guys. So, Cheers. Well, we got 10 more days to go, baby. <laughs> Looking forward to it. Cheers.